Hello, my name's Phil. Um, welcome to the uh, Alternator and Dynamo uh, Rebuild DVD. Um, over the next uh, hour or so, we're going to recondition or repair um, a Dynamo, which is off my um, Morris Minor. Hmm. That's actually stuck, so that'll be a good one to see what's wrong inside. Interesting. This is an ACR alternator. Um, fits Land Rovers and tons of um, Fords and old British stuff from the uh, 70s and 80s. And this is another very common, very popular alternator. It's called the A127. Lots of British Leyland stuff, Ford. Very popular fitment. So we're going to do these three and that will demonstrate the um, basic principles of um, pretty much most alternators um, you can buy the bits for and um, save yourself a lot of money doing it yourself um, one, of the, you know, one of the couple of things that we can't um, actually test is the armature, the windings um, you need what's called a growler for that um, but there are some simple tests you can do to Basic, do, do some basic checks on it. Right, okay, we'll start with um, pulling them apart and cleaning them, and we'll go from there. We'll start with this one, the ACR. It's not a particularly uh, good example, this one. It's filthy and the cover's busted, um, but it will still go again. Right, start by taking the back cover off. Simple. Two screws holding that on, one's missing on this one already, and that reveals most of the working parts in the back of this alternator. If you just wanted to do the bare, bare minimum, you would replace this part, which is the regulator, which as you can see, bolts on there. None of, no, none of it's brain surgery, it's, 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 um, it's all doable at home. Um, that piece bolts on there. We have got a new rectifier, which goes there. Very dirty, so uh, we'll put it apart and we'll give it a good clean up. See what the best way of doing that is as well. And bearings. This one, they're two the same, I think. Same part number. Yep, 6202. And these bearings, they're, they're so cheap, they're, they're about, about £2.50, I think these ones are. Um, but this is the sort of thing that goes in washing machines, tumble dryers, anything with spinning parts. They're very, very cheap to replace if you've got a noisy washing machine or anything like that as well. Um, right, so, where do we start? Let's pull this off, find the right socket to do the job. We're undoing that connection there. We're basically stripping everything to clean it to start with. I don't like working on dirty bits and pieces. That's that one. Simple T-bar socket driver, nothing special. Sockets don't, even, sockets don't even stick on the end, as I was just about to say. I think the most important bit of uh, kit, really, for doing um, some alternators would be um, a soldering iron. So we'll see if there's any... Uh, there will be soldered connections on here somewhere. So, that's that. That's going to be annoying, that socket keep falling off. Most important thing to do is to remember where the bits come from. And it also appears that we have a new bracket, new connector piece for the top as well. Comes in the kit. So we'll run over the prices at the end, I'll get the invoice out. 
Uh, so the biggest thing to remember is where the connectors go. So is that socket two there. No, nope, that seems to be uh, gripping that little nut. Maybe not. Next one down. Microscopic socket. Right, so that's that. It's pretty self explanatory If you leave, when you take it apart, if you leave the wires where they are, then you've always got an indication of where they went back on there, there, and we've got a red and a white one on the small connections around here, and they're different sizes, so that should be easy to remember. Ooh, just notice the difference. Hmm, interesting. That may, it may, we may have been supplied the wrong part there. So we might have to swap that. Anyway, that one's that. It's a plastic, uh, plastic piece loose, exposing the uh, connections, which we also have new ones of somewhere. Where have I put them? I'll just go and find them. Right, I found the bits, bits hiding in the bottom of the box. This is for the uh, A127 alternator, the bigger one. New piece, £2.50, nothing. Obviously not always um, necessary to replace everything, but I've bought everything so we can demonstrate replacing it all. And um, basically when, when you send your alternator off for repair, you will get it back with the minimum required. No new bearings, unless they're noisy. Um, new brushes, maybe depending on what's left on your old ones. Um, so false economy not to change brushes if you're doing them yourself because those brushes cost 60 pence. So uh, if you're going as far as taking it apart, definitely do it. Pad for the back of uh, this one. I've undone the screws. Undone that bolt there. On that connecting block. This piece goes on the back there and we will replace it on this one because there's uh, some evidence of wear there, and on this alternator it's about £1.80. Once again, just too cheap not to do. Right, undo this connector there, drop that nut. Some lorry coming up the road, might be delivery. Um, your three bolts holding the alternator together, out they come. And now, here, these are the two soldered connections that hold the um, rectifier to the uh, windings, the arm, uh, yeah, the windings. So, once again, if you don't, if you haven't got a soldering iron this big, then one um, well, of them little gas torches, about ten pounds, is um, more than adequate. Put that solder up, pull that, pull that connector off. bit fiddly, especially when you're working over the top of your head for the camera. Come on, get off. Okay, that's that one. Get that out of the way. And now that one looks like it's wound round even more, so we'll cook that up. This is a 120 watt soldering iron, this one. So it takes no prisoners when it's, uh, when it's hot. I've already stuck my hand on it. It's only been on 10 minutes. So another little health and safety lesson there for anybody. And off she comes. Beautiful. Back in the tray so I don't put my hands on the thing anymore. Now that should slide out. One more connection to undo. Let's cook that one up. Once again, if you keep all the old pieces handy, you can see where the connections went. Right, that's that dismantled. Beautiful. 